you guys. I swear, this place was so big, I felt like I was standing in the largest Dollar Tree. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share a, another Dollar Tree haul. You guys, this Dollar Tree is massive, so I hope you have some time on your hands. But this is a cumulative haul. I went to three separate Dollar Trees, but the very last Dollar Tree that I went to, Vanessa found, and she asked me to meet her there. And if you live in the local San Antonio area, it was right off San Pedro. And when I pulled up, it actually took my breath away for a moment because it looked like that really large Dollar Tree that I took a ride with with both Vanessa and Madison when we went to the largest DT in the whole US and that was in Burlington, North Carolina. Now, the one in Burlington was huge. Like, it definitely was the largest Dollar Tree I'd ever been in. But if this place wasn't as big, it was only like a tiny bit smaller, another aisle or two, but I couldn't believe what I found like you guys we walked around for two hours because the place was packed we were online for 30 minutes because like the whole store had the flu I felt like I was in an episode of my cousin Vinny because the whole place had the flu everybody called out there was almost nobody in there so we were online forever but it was there was so much to look at like so much to take in and I actually took my camera out I filmed so many clips of things that if I'm not talking about it during this haul then I'll put that footage at the end but if I bought something from that aisle but didn't obviously buy everything I took footage of it and I'll scroll it across the screen as we're talking but some things I just couldn't believe I mean sometimes I'm just in shock of what you can find there for just a dollar that's name brand that's quality that you just wouldn't expect to find anywhere else. So if you guys are ready to see this giant, cumulative, massive Dollar Tree haul, you have your snacks, your drinks, and you're ready to go, then let's get rolling. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with candles only because there's so many of them and I wanna push them out of the way so that I don't break them. I did separate everything. I have a pile of Valentine's Day stuff, all the decor that I bought and pretty much everything that I'm giving to my kids for Valentine's Day. Uh, I picked up some things that are gifts because I'm still going home to New York for Christmas and still doing like some gift exchange. So I bought some things that I found some bath products, the new Bolero, a bunch of candles, some food finds, some dog stuff, and some houseware. So, uh, like I said, I was pretty overwhelmed. There was really so, so much to look at. So let's get into the candles first. Uh, they have these new jars out there by Flashpoint Candle. So it is not a um, Dollar Tree product. And I found all four of them. And actually there's six of them. I know uh, Vanessa said there was four, but there was actually six. There was four that we saw and two of them I did not think smelt good at all and I did not get a picture of that um, but these I found at another store so I'll show you the two that I found with Vanessa and I absolutely fell in love with them so that was this one um, the oh I was showing you guys this one first okay so this one is the Maui melon and when I say that it smells like watermelon it smells so much like watermelon now not the water melon lemonade that old williamsburg came out with because that one was amazing that is better than this if you see that watermelon lemonade candle scoop it up because it is better than this that has more of a bath and body works feel this reminds me more of like a double bubble or hubba bubba what was the name of that gum like we had when we were kids and it's like they had the watermelon gum those big square pieces that's what this smells like but it smells so good and i just love the jars like i feel like the jars themselves are worth the buck if you weren't going to use like how cute is that when the candle burns after like I think that's so so sweet and then the other one I found with her is this one and it's called Harbor Sands and it does it smells very much like like summer and coconut lotion and like suntan lotion yeah like suntan lotion um so that's the front of that one and then look at how pretty the jar is like it smells so good but even if it doesn't have the greatest throw like the jar itself is worth it and then this one is basil and herb and it literally smells 
it smells like when you're when you're chopping fresh basil and you're about to make like a pot of sauce or something it really does smell very gardeny uh really loved this one and so that's the front of that one and not much of an integration on the back you can see that some gradient of color but it's not as pretty as the other jars and this one as well this is more of a solid and this one is called citrus grove and this one is and smells exactly how it sounds very um more like orange peel i feel like most of the time when it says citrusy it smells very lemon but this has a very tangerine kind of feel to it and that's just the back of the jar like i said not much integration but still you know really cute jars that you can use for after and then this one is an old williamsburg this one is a lemon drop it smells amazing very much just like the rind of a lemon like if you were to do a shot and you had like the rinds left sitting there that's what this one smells like and i love that i'll put those ones away for the summertime and then if you guys just watched my empties i did um show you guys this old williamsburg in the mint cookie this was the only one sitting on the shelf i said to you guys hey if you see this scoop it up because it literally smells like chocolate and mint and like you're eating a thin mint cookie and so when i found one i had to scoop that guy up i needed him in my life and then they had these old williamsburg christmas ones which i never saw at all during christmas time and not in any of the dollar trees that i went to but this one is hot cocoa and cream it is so so pretty i love the just the lid on that alone is super sweet and it smells like hot chocolate there's actually a hot cocoa and cream one from bath and body works like a wallflower bulb that i use all the time i actually have it burning right now in jake's room and it's it's incredible it literally smells like you just brewed a fresh cup of hot cocoa it's so so good and this one is a roasted marshmallow which i know sometimes s'mores could be like a fall thing but i feel like marshmallow reminds me of the summertime like campfires in the backyard still like a s'mores feel but i feel like people attribute s'mores to the fall but i feel like summertime sitting out by the pool and the fire and using the s'mores is more my thing and then these i feel like were the fall ones so i guess i missed them but this is frosted cranberry which i feel like definitely can carry over into january because this is still like a winter scent very very sweet cranberry scent again very similar to the bath and body works oh williamsburg is getting really really close with hitting their scent comparison it's, it's and for a dollar but like you saw in my empties sometimes they burn well and then sometimes they're a dud so this is spiced pumpkin when i tell you it's spot on for spiced pumpkin it is really really a good candle and i probably would still burn this right now if not for a dollar i will put it away for next fall but i'm not i'm not a candle snob when it comes to things like what time of year can i burn them i did find one of these uh these ones are very similar to those coffee candles and when you find one that's close you gotta scoop it up and this one's the salted caramel i love i love love this one it really does it has that coffee aroma like the latte from the coffee one so i really love that and then the last one that i picked up okay you ready for this i found another one of these and this one's nine so really how far do they go like i was all right with the first there was four and then i found out there was a five six and seven and now there's a nine i i don't it drives me crazy because these were some of the best burning candles and they smell so so good and it makes me mad because i want to collect them all and that makes me that drives me crazy because i don't feel like being a collector or a hoarder of candles because i don't hoard them i burn them i mean really how many jars can you repurpose and save like i could collect a million of them i love the cork in the top but this just smells so good this has a coconut feel to it also and coconut is like is my thing so i think that was it for the candles uh two four six eight ten i mean 12 candles i think that's enough right 
but I did find this. This is actually a candle holder. I thought this was so pretty, you guys. It says Hope on it. If you guys have watched my channel at all, you guys know that Hope is like a big thing for me. So when I saw this, I had to scoop it up. It is really, really heavy duty, and you're just supposed to put a little tea light in there. But I loved like the detail up top, and I love all the scroll work on it and the Hope and stuff. So I'm just going to put this out like for everyday decor. So now on to my food finds, which I definitely scored a good amount of those. And I love the Snyder finds that I found. So I always find these. I picked up a couple of bags of them. It's the Snyder's of Hanover six count lunch pack. So it's six of the mini bags for lunch boxes. These are the non-GMO ones. I love these and six for a buck is like the best deal because they don't even really sell these in like big, huge, individually packed packages so I always score a couple of those when I see them and then they also had the braided ones which Maya loves 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 pretzels so she's gonna be bonkers for these when she sees I pick them up it actually has the price right there on them of $2.99 and it says that they are good until January 18th of 2020 which means we're pushing close to them but these are probably going to go before then anyway because once she sees them she's going to be all about them and my kids will use them for lunches so these are the honey wheat made with real honey and non-gmo braided twists and like i said i know that my kids are going to be all about those so sticking with the theme of pretzels obviously pretzels are big in my house these are the snack factory pretzel crisps this is a huge bag they do have the little bags of the different flavors but this is the big bag it's 7.2 ounces and this is in the bacon habanero so as long as as long as this is not too too hot I will definitely get down on a couple of these with some laughing cow cheese or some whipped cream cheese. And if it's not too hot, Maya will get down on these too because she likes spicy and Jake likes spicy. So he might like these also. So I felt like this was a good find. And then these are those little Mr. Cakes. So we've gotten the brownies before. And then a couple of hauls ago, I found the brownies with the M&Ms. And then we've also gotten the blondie ones. And then now I've seen the cinnamon. Now I've just found the cinnamon crumb cake bites. They're non-GMO. I actually just saw Kim from the Wads and she was in Home Goods or something like that and saw a whole display of these Mr. Cakes. And in Home Goods, they were definitely not a dollar. So there's five individually wrapped of these crumb cakes in there. And it actually shows you on the back that there's the brownie and then we there's the blondie and then I also see one that my husband would get down with that's a strawberry filling one and then they don't even show the brownie one that we found that had all the little M&Ms in it so definitely feel like this guy was a good score so I found more of these Duncan Hine cups but I found the Oreo one so Jake loved the Chips Ahoy and he loved the s'mores so how could I not get the kid Oreo one? So I'm going to give him one now and I'm going to hold one to put with his little Valentine's Day stuff. But he's going to be super stoked because he really, really liked those. And he even said, mm, I wonder if they make these in Oreo. Ask and you shall receive. So thank you, Dollar Tree. And then I did find the cereal again. Just one box of these. But my kids really enjoyed the berry. They've been kind of getting off the chocolate and marshmallow. But now they're on to berry and marshmallows. So apparently I still can't knock the marshmallows, but they really liked this one. So when I saw another box, I grabbed it for a dollar. We still have tons of cereal, but you know, like I said, for a buck, what are you going to do? Two rippets for the hubs, and they had the purple ones, which was awesome. They haven't had these ones in a really long time. He's been stuck with the yellow citrus or the red, and he really likes these energy drinks. Back in Carolina, we used to be able to find them at the gas station for with like different colors, but they were way more almost two dollars so almost double the price a way more options of flavors but he's fine with the flavors that they have but when i saw the grape ones i was like okay he's gonna be super down with those and then a few more things for jake so he really loves watermelon flavored gum and i saw these new airheads gum and watermelon flavor so i picked that up to put with his valentine's day stuff and then i also picked up some of these for either weekend lunches or lunches like for school but look how big these containers are and these are like the big like noodly things so this one is a chicken flavored but it's hot and spicy 
and it has a chili sauce packet inside so it's not that the actual seasoning of the like mix and noodles is hot there's an extra packet so he can be little or not so little with whatever he feels like as far as the hot and spicy part is concerned so i think that jake will definitely really enjoy that one and then this one just said chicken flavor but i mean look at the size of that soup i feel like it's the size of my head which is perfect because the little cups and stuff just are not enough for my big boy so i think he's going to be excited to see this as well so you guys, you have spread the word with me that rawhide is not good for my dogs. So if you saw what I put in my kids' stockings, I also included what I got for my pets. And I showed you guys that I bought these rawhide candy canes. And holy cow, between that and the grocery haul in which I bought them, you guys blew up the comments that rawhide is not good for your dogs. So I really didn't know that. And I really appreciate when people let me know. Nobody was diskind and said, like, you're giving your dogs crap. I really appreciate that. Everyone some people just attached links or let me know so thank you so much for that knowledge because that's something you learn something new every day and so I did return them to Walmart I got my seven bucks back whoop, whoop. and so I put my seven bucks right back into things that I found and hopefully you guys will approve of what I found this time so these are kind rewards no hide bones and I read them in the back they're not made in some like foreign country and it's pretty much all all just good ingredients and so this one was the chicken flavor ones and there's how many in each these ones are only two. Oh, oh no these ones are just two because they're bigger and then these ones are four little ones so each of my dogs will get two little ones and one of the kind of big ones and then I also found the peanut butter flavor so there's four of the little ones in this one and then, oh, I bought two of the four packs. So they'll each get four little guys of the no hide bones. And then I found these. So these are water buffalo rib bones, completely natural dog chew, grass fed and free range, no added antibiotics or hormones. And the ingredient says water buffalo rib bone, like that's it. So I picked these up. The smaller one will go to Dottie and the bigger one will go to Ruby. But I think that my dogs will enjoy them since I took back half of their Christmas present. So I picked these up for Marissa. She is a big lover of Coca-Cola, but I've only ever seen the little ones there. And I actually own a few of the little ones for the Dollar Tree and I use them purposely for like Sunday morning when you want a little bit of juice with your coffee or something. I use those little ones. But these ones are like the nice size, old fashioned, like Coca-Cola glasses that you would get like in a drive up diner or that kind of thing. I thought those were really, really awesome. And I think that she's going to love them. So I actually thought about just filling them with a little bit of Valentine's Day candy or something or, you know, making some kind of goodies or chocolates or something and just kind of filling this up and giving it to her for Valentine's Day as like a little I love my bestie kind of thing. All right, so I got a couple of buckets here and I got some stuff inside of it to show you. So right on top, again, if you saw my empties, I swear by the Ultra Shine dish detergent packs and I'm down to like half a bag of my last one. So I picked up two more that lasts me almost a month and obviously I'm in the DT at least once a month. So these I use to pick up pretty much every time I go. I actually use them as an excuse to get in the door. Like, honey, I need to, I need dishwasher tablets. Obviously, I need to go to the Dollar Tree, and then I'm inside. So um, I also picked up a bunch of stuff that they just came out with for Super Bowl. I love when they do this because I get to host Super Bowl this time. Uh, I'm pretty excited because we did Thanksgiving and um, Christmas, Friendsmas, and Friendsgiving and all that. We did that at Vanessa's, which is only rightfully so because she has a bigger house to accommodate our big families. And I did actual Thanksgiving at Marissa's house and we did New Year's kind of stuff together. But I haven't really got a chance besides Mason's birthday to host anything. And by the time we host something else after this, we won't be here. So I might as well do something fun while I can. And Super Bowl is like my Christmas since I love me some football and I love doing appetizers and all of that. So they had 12 paper plates in one pack. So I bought two and this is just of the 50 yard line with a little football and stuff. So I got two packages of that. And then I got two of the tablecloths. Uh, it just has like the playbook on it and the turf. 
I probably will set up more tables than two, but I'll wait to see who's in the Super Bowl, and then I'll get those team colors as the coordinating other tablecloths. But I did get these. I thought they were super cute. It's just a little flag banner, so I'll just hang this like around that window if you guys saw my home decor tour i have that window behind the kitchen table that little banner that fell down and i fixed it in my video i think i'm going to hang these there providing this doesn't fall down also i think it'll be a cute backdrop for the food and then i also picked up just one pack of napkins i feel like these are more for looks they're not as quality i'll have backup regular napkins but i picked those up just for show for pretty much and then browsing through the books, I was pretty good. I did not buy any actual books. I saw a bunch there that I wanted, but I have been reading like crazy on my Kindle. I'm actually going to talk about that pretty soon because I've read some incredible books. I want to share them with you guys, so I want to find like a place where it would be good to share. I want to do Instagram. Not everybody has Instagram. Maybe Facebook, like a Facebook Live or something, but I, I enjoy reading, so if you guys do too, I want to be able to share that. But I didn't see anything tangible that I wanted to grab but I did see this cookbook and it says choose it to lose it the ultimate pocket guide to saving 500 calories a day and what I love it it says skip it classic bacon cheeseburger 870 calories choose it better bacon cheeseburger 501 calories so in the picture it basically just looks like you know maybe you're switching your toppings you're not putting on that sugary ketchup you're switching to a wheat bun whatever the case may be i like the fact that they're going to give you suggestions on how to scale back that's something else that i'm going to talk about in like a health video i'm going to do like a what i eat in a day and show you guys where i'm at weight loss wise i still want to lose about 20 more pounds but then i know where i want to stop and be at and i know what's good for me and the kind of weight that I like and where I want to be at and once I hit that point I'm going to give myself back a little bit of grace I've actually been doing that a little bit lately where as long as I know that I'm not going to compromise and put weight back on which I have not um, then the choices that I make are good choices so I like a book that's going to teach me how to still enjoy food but to be able to just make better choices while choosing the same things I love to eat so for a dollar I was glad to score that guy and then I got a couple of bins. If you guys saw that I just redid my refrigerator. Well, not redid it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I cleaned it out. Jeez. Um, but I said I wanted to get some bins. And I thought these would be good. I got the ones with handles. They had no white. And even black would have been better. This was the only, like the best color that didn't look overwhelmingly bright. But I thought maybe I could put my juice boxes and yogurts and stuff like that in these bins. I bought two of them. Easy for the kids to just slide out. And that would give me some more door room. Um, although I don't want to overwhelm the doors. But maybe I could just put... I just smacked myself in the face with that. Did you see that? Um, maybe I could put like my bread and stuff like things that aren't so heavy but can get bulky things out of the fridge put this in its place I don't know be able to swap some stuff around and organize so I picked these up to try and then I picked these up these are actually like um, soda can storage I don't keep soda in my fridge or really buy soda at all anyway but I felt like these were still something that I can use for that kind of storage stuff so hopefully uh, I can figure out something and if it comes out good I will film it and show you guys so out of the stuff that I showed you guys so far, I'm not exactly sure what I had footage of that you guys might have seen while I was talking. Maybe some food, but now is where I think I'm getting into where I have some stuff that I couldn't buy at all. But it was amazing what I found. And some of the stuff was this, um, all of these like craft products. So I went down this one aisle and in this big one on San Pedro and it blew my mind. Like if you guys like to do craft stuff, then this was the Dollar Tree to go to. Now, the one I had gone to the day before with Daryl, that one had a little Valentine's Day section where they had some wooden love or hearts and things like that for you to paint and decorate for Valentine's Day itself. But down this aisle in the San Pedro one, they had every kind of thing you can think of. If you love to do craft stuff, this was the place to go. Like really heavy wood, sturdy signs that said love and family and hearts and butterflies and everything like super sturdy. Like if you wanted to go and get someone like a basket filled with all different things to do if they're crafty like as a gift, 
you would really be able to put together a great gift. And I found a bunch of these markers that I was excited to find. So at the first store, I found this one. And this one is a glass paintbrush marker. And it says great for glass, ceramic, or porcelain. And I got the black one. I felt like this was perfect because I always have stuff that I want to write on and do decor with. And every time I've decorated glass or something, that stuff smudges right off. I've done really cute favors for birthdays, even Super Bowl parties. I bought a little fish bowl once and made that little fish bowl drink that you put the Swedish fish in. And I wrote everybody's name on the fish bowl so they wouldn't get it mixed up. And I drew little footballs on it and wrote the year and who was playing. And by the end of the night, it was gone. And I spent like a good amount of money trying to buy these special kind of markers and they just didn't work. So I'm hoping that this works. I'm really excited about it and like I said hopefully this is something that you know will be worth the bang for your buck like if you see there on the back it shows you like how you could personalize like a plate a cup glasses a bowl wine glass something anything like that that just really excited me because I love to do crafty stuff like that so first I bought the glass one but then I bought chalkboard ones which I thought was amazing because these can be really pricey in the store and I have chalkboards all over the place like target dollar spot always sells those three and five dollar big chalkboards and then the regular chalk doesn't write on it that well and even if it does it's not pointy enough that you get like really pretty fluency to be able to do any kind of like pretty calligraphy so i bought a white one i think i bought two white yeah i bought two white ones and then i bought a green and i also bought a purple now they had like a hot pink and a blue and stuff but those they only had like one of each so i let vanessa get them because my cart was already getting ready to overflow so i was fine with those ones but if i go back there and they have more i will restock especially if they're good because i thought that was a tremendous deal um okay so i did get my husband a valentine's day card you gotta love the dollar tree for any kind of um, cards can't beat that and I actually did I buy two of them wait no way I bought two cards huh I couldn't decide and I bought them both okay so you know what you look at that your girl is never on time okay so this year and I already got one for 2021 what right there now your girl's ahead of the game like boom right there love that um, and I got a birthday card because tomorrow's his birthday so that is amazing it's actually his birthday the day you guys are watching this so wish hubs a happy birthday um so i already got his card for that and i think there's another one in here also because the kids got him one but i also mentioned that we are going home to see my family in new york to do like our own little christmas gift exchange and each of the kids are going to have their own like bag that they're checking and stuff so i got them their own little bag tags that i found that they could put on their bags none of them have luggage tags so i got this one for mason the little pug dog with the unicorn head i thought that one was so cute and i think he's going to love that and then Maya got the same thing, but it's Unicorn Kitty. Like, I think she's going to go crazy for that because she loves unicorns. And I really didn't think she was a big cat person. But then when we went to Vanessa's, she tried to pretty much attack Polly. So uh, apparently she loves cats more than I thought. And then look at this one for Jake. Like, with the taco. Come on, you guys. So, so cute. Really excited about that. And then as far as... Um, traveling on the airplane i got some of these good grades books uh these are like the they had so many i know i took footage of this to show you guys how many of these amazing books that they had if you want any kind of workbooks for your children you cannot be going to the dollar tree and getting these kinds so i got kindergarten ones this is first words educational workbook and then I got the letters and writing. So you can see that they're completely different. Look at all the ones on the back for this one. Like that's all theirs. And then this is all of theirs that they do. All different numbers, letters, learning, this, that. So I love these. You can't beat them for a buck and it'll be busy work for Mason to do while we're on the airplane. So I picked up a whole bunch of these things and I don't know if they're going to work, but for a dollar, I thought it was great. Uh, even for like a extra additive for a gag gift, um, just because we are 
doing like a white elephant kind of game when we go home to New York and I thought this was friggin hysterical so if this works it's a great deal if it doesn't work like a as seen on TV kind of thing then you know it is what it is it was a dollar but it's a rapid pizza reheater and it says no more soggy pizza reheats delicious pizza every time fresh out of the box taste BPA and dishwasher safe so it's kind of like a plastic dish we're actually going to keep one so let's open up one one was for us and then two are gifts so all right that's kind of neat so that's literally just a plastic dish in the shape of a pizza but it says Pour water to fill line. Place pizza on tray. Microwave for one minute. Enjoy. Wait, what? Pour water to fill line. Oh, you do it this way. Haha, -ha, that's pretty tricky. I thought it was the slice was going to go inside of here. You do not. See this little divot? You pour water in there. So it probably sucks the moisture out. And then you put your pizza slice on top and stick this in the microwave for how long did it say one minute yeah for one minute so one slice of pizza that you got from the pizza place left over fill this with water stick it in the microwave and voila you have crispy crunchy pizza non soggy and if that works that's amazing so i bought three of those like i said two to give out as gifts and then one for us to keep and then I've showed you guys for quite some time that my cousin is like, she loves her wine. And every time I find wine stuff, I always kind of buy it for her. And this is a 2020 12 month calendar and it's called Wine Time. And there is like some really, really, really beautiful kind of pictures back here. I know I took some footage of the other calendars that they had. I was blown away by the amount of calendars that they had and the pictures that are on there if you invest in some nice frames like joann's or something some of these prints are so pretty that they are worth framing like sometimes it's worth just buying the calendar and being able to pull one quality photo out of it that you put into a frame and frame it because you spent a dollar if you can get more than one then it's a complete bang for your buck but i feel like after the year she might want to frame some of those so i'm excited to show her that because i literally have like an array of wine stuff that I've collected for her. All right, bathroom stuff. So I found the new Bolero. I took tons of video to show you guys all the stuff that I found Bolero. I did not buy a whole bunch of it. Uh, I will actually include right here a clip of my own stockpile closet. If you guys ever wanna see like any kind of video of my couponing closet, like in depth of what I have and stuff, I will show you guys, but I'll just do a quick overview of what my stuff looks like once I packed it out of the pod. And I think there's still some boxes I haven't located because I feel like there's still some things that I am missing, but I really didn't need a whole, whole bunch. But this stuff smells dynamite. When I tell you dynamite, I opened one in the store just because I had to know. And this is the strawberry and pineapple and it literally smells exactly like it says so so deliciously citrusy like i'm so excited to use this so i got the brightening body wash with fruit enzymes boost radiance improve skin and of course this is the newer line with the no parabens dyes chemicals all of that good stuff and so i'm excited to use this guy because it really does smell amazing and when i find one that smells amazing and then of course i buy the hand wash and then i also bought the hair mask so i'm always all about a hair mask and i will definitely try this this is the brightening one and it says did you know that strawberries protect your hair from damaging elements and pineapple provides additional vitamins so that's pretty interesting i'm excited to give this a try to my hair it says as a mask after shampooing apply on wet hair and leave on for one minute then rinse and then otherwise after shampooing apply to hair from root to tip and leave on for one minute and rinse depends if you're using it as a mask or a conditioner but you're only supposed to leave it on for one minute i don't know maybe your hair falls out or if you don't i don't know but i'm still excited to use it i love all that kind of stuff and then i did find the old 
bath soak, but this is in the watermelon and aloe. I don't know if Madison has it, but it was her birthday a couple of weeks ago, and I still have a package. Of course, like I said, girls late for everything that I haven't sent out, and so I'm just going to throw this in Madison's bag so that she has um, some extra watermelon goodness because she loves her some watermelon in her life. But there were so many different scents and products and stuff, um, as you guys saw, if you guys are looking for it. It all smells amazing, and if some of them are good, check out Lisa from Pookie's View. She does a lot of reviews on Dollar Tree stuff. I'll link her channel down below. But once a week, she does a video on how she's tried out some of these products, and I think she's tried some of these already. I haven't watched that one, but I saw it in her thumbnail, the body wash. So hopefully she said it was good, but definitely go and check her out if you're looking for some reviews. So something else that I actually went on the look for because I saw her haul it and then I wanted to try it was these Caress Botanicals little body sprays, okay? So there was another scent. I believe I took a picture of it so you guys can see. These smell amazing. So this one is Sweet Violet and this one is Pink Peony. And these are like, they're all power, paraben free and stuff, which you guys know if I can get more of like a paraben free or an all natural, I would prefer that. And these are small enough for my handbag. Like the big Bath and Body Works body sprays I get, I keep one in my car and then one in the bathroom, but I would never throw it in my bag. But something like this is really good just like as a refresher before you're walking into a store or something like that and then I saw um these little like brush buddy things you know the toothbrush that has a little holder with the cup and I saw a Jojo one which I know that um Vanessa's girls are going to be all about so I picked up one for each of the girls I asked her they don't have it it says dream crazy big and it has a little cup and stuff and they each have their own bathroom so I got them each one of those for the next time I see them and then I got Maya the Barbie one she actually has like tons of toothbrushes and stuff like that but Mason just got Ryan's world for Christmas from Jake. That's what Jake got him and she was kind of upset that she didn't get her own set of toothbrushes Like I have a zillion toothbrushes child. Let's go pick one from the bin But no, she wanted a Ryan's world one So hopefully she'll be happy with the Barbie one and I think I'll probably do this maybe Valentine's Day or something and then something I forgot to show you from the Bolero was the brightening paper facial mask and strawberry and pineapple vitamin C fruit enzymes boost radiance improves skin tone. I don't do paper masks, but it smells so, so good. And I like ones that smell good while I'm putting them on because I feel like that's part of that self-care aromatherapy stuff. So I got one. We'll see. I have like a zillion masks. Um, and if it's paper ones, they usually get pushed to the back, but I really am anxious to try this one just because it smells so good. Ah, just lying. I found a blue one. I guess I did buy a blue one. Everything was all like mixed on to the table. Maybe it was just the hot pink that they only had one and I let Vanessa have. Hmm. I don't know, but I found another one of those chalk markers. So like I said, the more the better. All right, guys, we have reached the end, and what I'm left with is Valentine's Day. So this is either Valentine's Day decor or stuff that I picked up to give my kids for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm only going to do these little things that I'm showing you guys, and then I'm going to get them just a little bit of a gift card or maybe like an outfit or something. I usually end up doing like a bunch of little stuff, and then it's all tchotchke crap that gets tossed away. So I'm not going to do that. I got a few little things that I think they're going to enjoy, and then I'm just going to do something like nicer, and then and call it a day. But something I found that I know my kids are going to love is this building block dough. So it's actually like Play-Doh, but it comes with a mold for you to build it like Legos. Like this is like the best of both worlds for my kids. They love blocks and Legos and building stuff. And then they love Play-Doh and sand and slime and goo. But this is something they can sit on the back table and play. And they had like a zillion colors and I got whatever ones I can get my hands on so this one is the purple and then this one is orange this one is blue and then this one is pink so I'll probably give the pink and purple to Maya and then the orange and blue to a Mason for Valentine's Day so then each one of my kids are getting these for Valentine's Day so these are R Russell Stouffer's Itty Bitty Hearts. There's 50 chocolate mini little hearts in here. Like how cute is that little bag? I thought that was so, so sweet. So they're gonna each get one of those. And then, like I said, they love gummies, they love Legos. And so 4D delicious gummy block shapes. 
So it's actually gummies that are Lego blocks. So they can play with them, build them, and it actually shows you on the back a couple of things that you can build. My kids are gonna go crazy for those, let me tell you. Uh, and then I picked up a couple of just bags of these little chocolates. If you guys have been following me on Instagram for the last couple of years, if not, it's just 50 Shades of Mom. I put a little heart in an envelope on my kid's door. I got these felt envelopes from the Target dollar spot. I hang them on each of the kids' bedroom doors and each morning they get up and they check their envelope and I put a little heart in there for saying a reason why I love them and then I attach a piece of chocolate to that. So I needed to get my chocolates for that. So I got the cookies and cream one. Those will be the ones I give to Jake. And then I got the fudge ones, but they're pink. So these will be the ones I give to Maya. And then I got the peanut butter ones, which these will be the ones I give to Daryl. And then I got the double crisp ones, which will be the ones I give to Mason. So a couple of things that I just got for Mason, and one of them was a whoopee cushion. I was looking for this to put in his stocking, and I never found it. I was really, really sad. And so I did pick up a whoopee cushion um, for him for his Valentine's. And then I picked up this little Finders Keepers Everyday Heroes. So these are like Kinder Eggs, but inside is a little like hero kind of figure or something so it's literally just like inside of the chocolate so he eats the chocolate and then inside is this little guy so i got this to add to his valentine's day pile so two things for jacob's pile he recently just told me that his lips are super super chapped and he was looking for some chapstick and so hello i found oreo chapstick like is that not scream jake's name or what so i picked that up for him and then Jake also loves airheads, so I picked him up this little airhead like Valentine's Day heart to put with his stuff. And then they had some really, really cute Valentine's Day out, like cute things to give for girls. Uh, I wanted to pick these up to show you guys because I'm just going to give them to my goddaughter. I wouldn't give them to Maya just yet, but I did get her this that I'll give to her. But they had these cute little things like set up in these little pouches, like so sweet to give your older, you know, teenagers or something on Valentine's Day. I just like the fact that we're always looking for something to give our teenagers and they made this easy. So this one one says hello beautiful and it's a color mates mascara so that's like super cute in this little thing right and then this one is color mates cruelty free be mine it says and it's lip oil so i thought that was just super cute on the back it says perfectly kissable oh so smooth lips pucker up for that special lover's kiss so i thought that was really cute like for one of those and then this is just a rosy scented heart shaped lip balm so I got that for Maya. That was also hanging by this, Jeff. Uh, that, this I would let her use, but obviously she's not putting mascara or lip oil on, but that I would let her use. And then right by them was these. So Pookie also hauled these, and I put them on my list for wanting them, but these are these reusable fortune cookies and so inside of them it says happy valentine's day you're one smart cookie you will have a fun adventure you make me smile They're all different ones that are inside but they fold right back up so i absolutely love that because i feel like you could put your own little notes inside and just use the hull of the fortune cookie and how do you beat that 10 of them for a dollar so I can give one to my hubby and I can give three to my kids and I could put something you know special inside of it so I just thought these were super sweet if these work out I will go back after Valentine's Day when they mark everything down and hopefully find some more and buy more because then I will put my kids chocolate and message in one of these every day and just do something fun instead like I love doing something for them to switch things up so that they never know what's coming because they love that kind of stuff they eat it up and I know that that's the kind of things later on in life that they'll remember that mom always did stuff like that so if you've watched any dollar tree haul lately you guys saw this fairy stuff that's going around like absolutely everywhere i have so much footage to school while i'm talking to you guys it's amazing what you can do i'm only going to use this for valentine's day decor i could have bought a zillion pieces but being that i just am going to use this for decoration i only bought one setup but if you have a bunch of little girls or if you want to set up a whole little village and you feel like going crazy the potential is there because this stuff is so stinking cute it is so quality made the detail on it is amazing and it's a stinking dollar you guys like i can't so 
these are all separate pieces what i'm about to show you but they had these different bottoms so they had like square ones that looked like grass and then this looks like a cupcake with like frosting dripping down the side and it's got sprinkles on it so i really like that and then i got the little let's try and not break it right okay so i got this little house which i thought was so cute there was only two ice cream trucks there vanessa got one and the other woman that was standing there that we were talking to got the other one i would have scored an ice cream truck but i've seen them other places so i will get one if i see one again but again i really don't think i need it because this is kind of small and i don't want to do more than one so i thought i would set that up there look at the little ice cream cone like table and chair set so like that sits right out there with your little people like they're gonna sit at the table and chairs and then i got a cute little bridge that i'll put down here a little bit further because i also got these little pads i only bought two of them but they look like that and they connect they look like little like lollipop you know pads and so i bought two of these i'm gonna put two from the bridge leading to this little thing and then i did buy just a few little characters to go on top so here's a little fairy garden and figures that I picked up. I have some of these because we've done fairy gardens before, but I put them outside and they got destroyed, which is why when I saw the quality and the look of these, I said, forget it. I'm just going to use it as decor. So I did get these little fairies. They're all holding ice creams and lollipops. So that kind of matches that whole theme of what I got. And then here is what looks like candy canes and lollipops. So I think that looks so cute, so sweet. And then, of course, you guys, I had to get the unicorns. Like, obviously, that was a must for me. And so I definitely will put this all together. And again, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'll put it together and take a picture there to show you guys. But I was really excited to find those, but I didn't go crazy. I just kind of stayed subtle. So my last little pieces of chocolate that I found, but these are Godiva Masterpiece. So I got milk chocolate with caramel, and then I got dark chocolate with ganache. But I mean, I thought these were a really great deal to score at the Dollar Tree. I mean, it's Godiva chocolate, and it's a large bar for a buck. Like, I think that that is amazing, and they look delicious. So I'm going to give these to Hubs. And speaking of Hubs, he actually found this Valentine's Day card for me, brought it up to me and said, I'm sorry, I don't want to show you your Valentine's Day card early, but I just found this card and I can't get over it. Like this literally reminds me of us and I want to get it right now. And it says, I love you more than coffee, sleep, bacon, binge watching TV. Happy Valentine's Day to the most lovable part of my life, you. And like that is the cutest thing because that is what we're all about in this house we are all about coffee and bacon and sleep and binge watching awesome shows whether it be youtube or something on tv and we love each other more than that so i thought that was super cute um and i'm looking forward to him i know he's going to he's really good at leaving messages and stuff inside of his card so i'm looking forward to seeing what he was going to write i asked him if he wanted to take it he said no he wanted me to include it in the haul so i could share it with you guys so you guys could be on the lookout because everybody needs to buy that card for their spouse so you know those little like bendy metal things? We got these like for fall and I think they even had them for Christmas. These ones say love XO and Valentine, but they had them again and I scooped them up because I actually use them. I still have my welcome one out right now. I use it all the time. So I'm gonna switch the welcome one out with this Valentine's because I actually have it set up by my little love um, Ray Dunn plaque that I just got. So it's gonna be super cute. And then speaking of love, you guys i love this decor look how cute that is like i absolutely love it it has the three hearts on the bottom that's the galvanized metal and then it says welcome up top i did have to go through quite a few to find the ones that said welcome that were you know done properly but it does have the twine up top and i really think that's going to look beautiful on the front door all right guys so that is it for this massive huge gigantic dollar tree haul are you exhausted because i know i am my butt is sore from sitting down and showing you guys all the goodies that i found and if you are still still 
in for more Dollar Tree. I have a small clip of spending like 25 bucks when I went with Jake a couple of weeks ago, right before we went to do Friendsmas with Vanessa. We needed a few things and I want to share with you guys because I found a couple of cool things that I haven't seen. So I'm going to roll that footage for you guys right now and any other footage that I took inside of the stores that I wanted you guys to see that didn't go with anything I had to show. But I need to go clean all this up now, which honestly is never fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up nothing like starting out 2020 with one of the largest Dollar Tree hauls I have ever done but that's because I went to one of the largest Dollar Trees I have ever been to and it was super fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this haul so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys all so so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Okay guys, so I just have a quick little Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I went into the DT and spent about 20 bucks. So I'm just going to insert this footage into a later Dollar Tree haul when I'm actually sitting down and doing a haul like I normally would. So today we're actually doing Friends Miss with Vanessa and her family. And of course, my son with the heart that he has had not finished his shopping yet. So he needed to run and grab a couple of things which provoked us to walk in the door but we actually did pretty good. I'm actually quite proud of ourselves with what we came out with. So Jake went and sniffed all the colognes and he really, really liked this one. This one's supposed to be very similar to Gucci. And so he picked this up to give to Mark. And then we already had a few like sticky notes and things for Paige, but he found a few other little things that he wanted to get for her. So he found some sticky notes with her initial, which we've seen those, which are super cute. He got her some roller pens in red. He figured that was a color she might not have. Knowing that she loves her cactuses and succulents, we found this little notebook that said grow where you're planted. And I actually have a bookmark for her upstairs with her presents already that say the same thing. So we figured that would go. Jake wanted to get her some Jolly Rancher candy for them to pick on during our little gathering today. And then he also wanted her to have a micro fiber cloth to clean her glasses and her screen that she does her at home school work on, which I thought was a really cute, well thought out idea. So those are all the things that he has for Paige. I just noticed that there's like a spinning circle from a ceiling fan up above. So sorry about that guys. And then he didn't have anything for Bryce, but we actually found a bunch of fun stuff. So we did find these darts. I feel like maybe I've seen them before, but it comes with four magnetic darts and a little spot for you to hang it up. I just thought that was pretty neat. I feel like all boys like that kind of stuff, Nerf and darts. So Jake was excited when he found that. But what I really loved was these little wood shop things. So sometimes they've had ones like this, like Maya has built a wind chime and she's built a birdhouse. But these ones look a little bit more like diesel like larger and I know that Bryce is really big into Legos so we got him all the ones that they had of this style and I hope he likes them because they look pretty neat so this is a race car like that still looks like a decent amount of pieces and like fun to put together maybe he could glue it and paint it if he likes it and then we thought the helicopter was really neat I love that but this was my favorite. Look at the sailboat. It comes with like the stuff to do the sail and everything. I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Uh, how do you beat little kits like that? Like busy work for your kids while they're home on vacation and stuff for a dollar. So we grabbed that. And then I just grabbed a couple of lasagna pans. Um, there's two in each package. So that gives me four just for me to bring with us so that we have stuff to put like the chicken nuggets in one, the little pizzas in another, like the fries and stuff in one, like just to make it easier, throw away stuff. This way we don't have a whole bunch of like platters to wash and stuff after. And then you guys, I hit like the bread jackpot. This store has so much amazing bread. And although I don't really eat bread, my family still eats bread and we literally pour through all sorts of bread. So when I see bread for a dollar is why I have to scoop it up because I can never bring myself to buy bread in the regular grocery store. So I did get the Ellie's bagels. These are the best deal. There's four for a dollar. They're delicious. They toast up so well because they're kind of doughy. So when you toast them, they toast really well. The kids love them. So every time I'm in there, I just grab one and throw it in the freezer. 
And then you guys know that I love me some cobblestone. I love to see cobblestone in the DT. And this is million dollar white bread. My husband loved this the last time that I found it. I've only found it at the Dollar Tree one time. So Daryl's gonna be happy to see that. And then look at this, you guys. This is the non-GMO, nature's own, perfectly crafted, thick sliced multigrain. Like, it doesn't even expire for two days. I'm going to throw it in the freezer. Like, I'll make something delicious out of this. But this is amazing, amazing bread. Like, for that cost. Like, I could just can't believe it. Like, this is why, like I said, uh, I always scoop my bread at the DT. Because how do you beat that for a dollar? And then we've gotten this a couple of times. And we like this as well. This is the Nature's Own Sugar-Free 100% Whole Wheat Whole Grain bread it's 11 grams of whole grain per slice and like it doesn't even expire for almost a week it's craziness so uh, i love that i scooped up my bread and i'm gonna fill my freezer with that and then the last thing i found were these little ice cream cups so maya asked me to pick up some ice cream and i didn't want to get like a big old container because then we would just eat on it forever so i like these little specialty cups and they had Snickers, M&M's, and Twix. I did buy a Twix one, but I guess it wasn't sealed on the inside. And it like melted all over and dripped all over everything in the bag. But I had gotten five in total. I got two Snickers, two M&M's, and one Twix. But these are almost like those little friendly cups, which sometimes the friendlies cups in the grocery store go on sale for a dollar. So to see these kinds of cups in the Dollar Tree regularly for a dollar, I think that is a great deal. So... That was it for my little Dollar Tree haul, you guys. Just $20, but I'm sure you guys are in the middle of watching an even larger haul.